Hey foodies, welcome back to my channel Rashmi's Feel the Food. From today, I'm starting a new series of recipes wherein I include those recipes that are forgotten or lost. And I'm calling this new series as Heritage Foods. So welcome to Heritage Foods episode number one. Today, we are giving one such classic treasured heritage recipe that is Kai Vade or Coconut Vada or you can even call Coconut Puris. These are very easy to make, very tasty and you can surely replace these with our regular puris at least once in a while. Before we dive into this mouth-watering recipe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out our tasty creations. Now let's get started on our kai vade or coconut vade. We'll start the recipe by roasting 1 cup of normal dosa rice. We need to roast this on low medium heat until it changes to slightly golden or brown color. It may take around 12 to 15 minutes for roasting. Once the color changes, turn off the heat and spread it on a towel for cooling. After around 2 hours, our rice is nicely cooled. Now rinse this rice 2 to 3 times and add water and allow it to soak this for minimum of 1 hour. For making kai vade or puri, we'll take half coconut, freshly grated. Our rice is also soaked well. We'll drain this and transfer it to a blender jar. Remember, do not add any extra water. Next, we'll add grated coconut, salt to taste and hint of jaggery around half teaspoon. That's it. Minimum ingredients blend this really well. Remember, do not add any extra water. It will be very hard for the mixer to blend it. Still, try to grind it as smooth as possible without adding any extra water. Next, the dough is nice and smooth. We'll take out this. To this, now we'll add half teaspoon of cumin. 2 to 3 tablespoon of roasted rice flour or wheat flour. Traditionally, it is ground in stone mortar, so it can be ground as thick as you want, but in the mixer, it becomes slightly watery, so you may have to add little bit of roasted rice flour or wheat flour. It depends on how watery it is. Now, we'll mix everything well. Our dough is ready. It is soft and non-sticky and can be easily spread like puris. Now oil is nice and hot, we'll pinch little dough. Over a greased banana leaf, spread these into thick sheets like shown. Drop these puris in hot oil. Remember to keep the flame between medium and high. If the dough is very watery, it may absorb lot of oil. So add roasted rice flour in that case. And that's it, our coconut puris or vade is ready. It can be served with kurma or red chutney as per your choice. Remember, the heart of every recipe lies in sharing and savouring. Until next time, happy cooking and may your kitchen be filled with aroma of tradition and the sweetness of shared memories. This is Rashmi from Rashmi's Feel the Food signing off. See you in next delicious recipe. Bye!